Okay guys, so here are the keys to this baby McLaren right here. We're gonna be telling Christina that they gave us the keys to the McLaren P1 to take out. Guys, we are parked on like the biggest I don't hill know right now. How he's gonna get out of it. Cause I'm a skilled driver. No, I'm just kidding, it has hills. Is... First time ever it's snowing in LA, you guys. Look at it, it's literally snowing. Show this guy. Look at it, in LA it is snowing. What's up CG family? So we are in LA today and yes, we are still with the Fiat yeah. 124 Spider. Um, I still like it a lot. Grant, what do you think about it? I like it. I dig it. You know, I'm not huge on it. I still want to drive the MX-5 though. That's what I want to compare. Yeah, they are pretty similar except the MX-5 is a 2 liter. This is a 1.4 liter. So it's like extra tiny. But we are on our way to get Starbucks today and we have a lot of exciting things to show you guys. I'm not going to tell you what. All right, guys. So this is how you take the top down off a <laughs> Fiat. You have to go like this and that and then you just push it all the way back. It's all manual and then you have to snap it down like, like that. that. <laughs> guys. We secured the bag. So good. We didn't go to Starbucks, but we went to Duncan. Oh, go, go, go. All right, now on to the fun stuff. What's that? Cars. Oh, that's what our channel's about. Oh yeah, right, we forgot. All right, let's do it. Ah, guys, no. All right, guys, so we made it to Lamborghini. Um, I forgot which one this is, but it is an O'Gara Lamborghini dealership. Um, it is in Beverly Hills. I think I've shown it to you guys before, but they probably have a brand new inventory, so we're gonna go check it out. This is this is what it looks like. This is the vibe. That's a lot of Huracan Evos. All I see is cookies. Is cookies. <laughs> guys, these are the new Huracan Evos rear-wheel drive. And like that's they, have, they have all the colorful Lamborghinis out. Like I know, it's like Skittles, literally. Oh, did you get this for me? Yes, I oh. bought it for you. Yes. Thank you Happy so birthday. Much. Merry Christmas. Thank you. You're welcome. I kind of want to get red though. Okay, I mean, this is the best I could do. I, I really figured... like it though. Yes, come on. How could you not like this? Look at the interior. <laughs> you mad? Can you please return it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. I was expecting more of like a crying or something from you. Really? Yeah, I thought you were gonna cry. I'm little... sorry. You know, I never like the orange though. Would you rather have the green? Because I could probably trade it in. Um, I don't know. I kind of want the I want the red. Red? They don't even have red in their inventory. Well, make it happen. You sound spoiled. Y'all, I'm just kidding. We're just playing. I, I would cry even if I got a little brake piece of the Lamborghini. Ooh, four, five, eight just drove by. But yeah, no, we're just messing around, obviously. Um, <laughs> one day though, one day we're gonna get her a new car. She's gonna love it. But not as much in the inventory as I had anticipated there to be. but let's go to the next dealerships and check them out. All right guys, they also do have a bunch of Bentleys lined up, but we're not at that age where we're interested. Uh -uh. No, no, that's not for us. Where are we heading to next? Like Pagani or McLaren? Uh, I think we're heading to McLaren. Okay, let's head yeah. to McLaren and then Pagani. We have made it to our destination. Yes, McLaren, after an hour walk, we have made it. Yes. Dude, no, fucking P1. Arrived. As we said before. <laughs> and it is well worth it. There's some really sweet stuff in here that I haven't even seen before. But right off the gate, we got a 600 LT. Absolutely stunning. Nice. <laughs> that is gorgeous. A whole Rolls Royce lineup. Two GTs. I remember when these came out around like last year. Yeah, and, and you I got to see the first one. one. Yeah. yeah I've, this is like my third time here, actually. Really? So. It's my first time, so. Yeah, and their inventory, like, this is probably one of the only dealerships, like McLaren dealer dealerships, where their inventory is, like, constantly changing. Like, really? Yeah, because, yeah. like, Ferrari, like, Holly, they have the same stuff for, like, an entire year almost. Right, exactly. Yeah. And I never really, like, took a good look at the uh, rolls, but that is the new one right over there. Oh, yeah, that is. That is. That's the new, what? Okay, Ghost, that. right? <laughs> Leaving here and a V12 DB11. 
inventory around. Listen to that exhaust, oh my gosh. Which one sounds better to you guys, the 600 LT or the 720S? And then finally a 620R, I have yet to see one of these. It's my very first one. Christina over there has actually seen a 620, I think in white if I'm not mistaken. But this is very similar to the 600 LT, but a lot of cool stuff has been added to it. All right, so they are looking for the P1 keys so we can get inside that little hybrid, little hybrid. But I remember when this actually came out, basically the 620R is one of the newest drops and it has that same hood as the P1 similar and a nice cool Tron wrap. And that's probably one of the main differences you can tell cosmetic wise on whether or not it's a 570 or a 620R. But what else do we have? This does have a functional intake as well and a ginormous wing with the 620R decal right on top of oh, it. Sick. Yeah. And this is this all comes like straight from factory too. Really? I'm sure you can, yeah, obviously like um, customize it through MSO, uh -oh. but oh hell. The wing's gonna fly off. <laughs> but yeah, this is probably one of the most tricked out McLarens I've seen from the factory. This 720S has always been one of my favorites. I love the colors, how they're so subtle, but they still pop. It's not like those crazy crayon colors like this one. This is like a turquoise with a shimmer. And then they also have a royal blue one. And right behind the royal blue, they have the gold one. Ooh, look at that blue McLaren GT. That's really nice. This is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I've only seen a few GTs. Haven't seen one. Actually, I believe I've seen one in this color at the Woodward Dream Cruise. So going inside, <laughs> I have never seen a P1 in this color before. I've only seen like three. How many three. colors have you seen? I've seen white and baby blue, and that's about baby it. Baby blue? Yeah. Wow. It was, it was actually really ugly. <laughs> it had the ugliest accents on it. But wow. this, if I were to get a P1, it would be in this color. A hundred percent. No other is option. Is that orange? Is that what it's I'm called? I'm not sure what the exact color is I think is that's called. BMW's color code. Wow, this is just so stunning. Like, oh my god. And then they have the orange interior to match it. It's absolutely stunning. You can see they're charging the battery. It is a hybrid. So on this side is the gas tank and on this side is where they charge the battery. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah, and um, what's it called? This spoiler is not just like a regular spoiler. You know, I usually joke around and call them a table, but this thing is like a couch. You guys can see how <laughs> it like scoops couch. up. It's functional too. And you can see all like the system right through the car. Imagine how much downforce it provides. Oh yeah, it definitely needs a lot. <laughs> Especially at higher speeds, oh my gosh. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And then when it breaks, obviously like the um, Verons and Chirons, it goes upwards to increase drag to slow the car down quicker. And, and Right on the interior over here, you could see it's all big for like oh, carbon wow. fiber weaved. There's the tinier weaves and then the bigger weaves. About. And you can also see them through here. Right here. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. It's crazy. I should, I should make a TikTok and I'll be like, just picked up my new McLaren and then I'll show that one right there. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, guys, that's our new McLaren. If, if I were to get Christina a car, it would probably be that one. I'm going to make it right now. I'll be like, at the McLaren dealership, getting a new McLaren. Right. <laughs> but obviously, last but not least, what is hidden over there in the corner? We have a Bugatti, a Bugatti Chiron. Ooh, the Chiron, nice. We have another 600 LT right here. Guys, what's really cool, they had a 765 LT in baby blue out back. Can't show baby it. Baby blue. Baby blue. It's a customer wow. car. Can't show it, but it's sick. Anyways, we have this. is just absolutely stunning. Wow. I don't know if this is a um, sport or just a standard Chiron. So comment below if you guys know, because I do not know how to tell the difference between a standard Chiron and a Chiron Sport. Yeah. It's obviously not the pure sport, but yeah. this is so cool. And we also have an 812 super fast in here. Yes, we do. Guys, we are sitting in Bugatti seats. These are Bugatti seats and they have carbon fiber. You guys can see, it's like the blue Vatisse carbon fiber right here. Really cool. Where were you we able to find them? He found the keys. In my desk. That's, they were hidden in your desk. He was keeping it to himself. I put them there and I told my porter, I'm like, hey, I know you gotta move the car. Yeah. Uh, they're in my desk. And so I just assumed they were no longer in my desk. Oh. Uh, you just wanted the car to yourself. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are taking a good look at the P1. We gotta carefully go in. In these crazy, crazy bucket seats. 
So this is the second P1 I've been in. So I've, I think I've already explained this to you guys in the other P1 that I've seen, but they basically do have in the electric mode and obviously the uh, twin turbo V8 mode and you can activate the hybrid as well. And, um, or you could just run it by itself with the uh, twin turbo V8, which is, oh, and th this, is, this is the button right here, E mode. And I don't know exactly what language these are in or if it's an acronym, but I need to figure that out. I'll ask them and yeah. I've already shown you guys the interior, but this is a different P1, and obviously we have carbon fiber all around, and these nice orange red leather seats with Alcantara in the middle that I've shown you guys, but I've never seen these bucket seats before. I may have not caught it in the other P1 that I sat in, but I've never seen this part of it, and I, I wonder why they do have a hollow area around it. This is chassis number 288, as you guys can see, and Taking a look at it from the driver's point of view, you could see the tire sticking out of the car right from where you're sitting, which is pretty crazy. And you're like almost leveled with the tires. And then this is where the obviously the start and stop button is, charging mode, E mode. And then this is the activate where you set the different settings and then press this to activate all. And then there's these different moods. Grant's talking to people and I thought he was talking to me. I was like, boy, what are you saying? Maybe you can see him in the background. I'm not sure. But <laughs> let's continue looking. As far as visibility, I think I have to heighten my seat a lot more to look because this is where my eyes are, as you guys can see right now. And through the dash, you could see it's very, very deep inside. <laughs> the windshield goes all the way over there and it's at a very, very big slant. And it continues down through here. And this is the visibility in the back. You can barely see anything but the wing. How is it? This is my second P1 I've been in. And um, it's pretty sweet. I think the one thing I didn't notice about the other P1 that I mentioned is that this seat has a hollow area to it and I've never noticed it and I don't know why it's there. Huh. Do you know Not what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, I don't know. Weight reduction? I don't know. <laughs> one thing that is pretty interesting about the P1, it has like almost, I want to say roughly 720 horsepower from the V8 engine itself and then it is a hybrid, so it also can run fully electric. And that engine has about like 100 and what, 60-ish horsepower. So in total it has 903 horsepower coming from both components, which is really sweet. Guys, I'm just in love with the look of this car. Like, I'm just staring at it and I just can't get over it. Like, come on, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven right now. So. All right, this is Grant's first time. You guys can't see the smile on my face right now. Trying to fit in a P1. Trying to. Let's see if you'll fit in. I don't think you can. Well, he fit. Yeah. Pretty flush. Dude, I wouldn't want to drive this on the street. You sit so low and you can't see. Yeah. Oh my god. The, the whole windshield itself is at a very, very large slant. Yeah, it is like straight. The windshield is almost parallel to the ground. Dude, this Alcantara steering wheel feels very nice. Yeah, and there's matte carbon fiber all around it. And then there's gloss carbon fiber all around this. Wow. It's just a huge mixer of different carbon fibers, you guys. You can see the gloss, the bigger weaves, and then you could see the mat right over here. You guys, I just realized I honestly don't know where the trunk space is. I don't think, it's obviously not gonna be in the back because that's where the whole freaking engine is. And then if you look at the front, that's where the cooling fans are. And all right through the signature hood, as you can see right over here. But if you look at these buttons right over here, this looks like it opens up the front hood and this is for towing. So no storage space. Okay guys, so here are the keys to this baby McLaren right here. We're gonna be telling Christina that they gave us the keys to the McLaren P1 to take out. What's that? They gave us the keys to the McLaren P1. You're I'm kidding. Not kidding. You're I'm kidding. not kidding. Why are you so tiny though? I, I wouldn't say tiny. Wait, okay. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe they were the wrong keys. Why? What are the keys for? Maybe they're for this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Can we hear it start off? Take the key. Let's hear it. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, sounds nice. I like it though. Put it in drive. Uh-uh, it's gonna go forward. <laughs> All right, guys. I think it was well worth it. 
You like it? Yes, now we are off to Pagani for a bit and then we have to race to our freaking car. Because we don't get a ticket for a parking violation. Yeah. But no, this was awesome. These that are my favorite one. wheels on the 720. The flower the rims. The flowers. The flower wheels. Yeah. What's really funny about yeah. the P1 is it didn't, it didn't have the slotted uh, rotors. We didn't. I didn't see any. Really? Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Usually it has them. So pretty cool, but Ooh, we, we gotta get board. going. Not Oof. So now for our next hour and a half walk. Okay, maybe not that long, but hey, at least it's through a very pretty and scenic neighborhood. Look at this. All uh, these ooh, oranges. Beautiful. I need to pick one. <laughs> How big that fire truck is! Oh my gosh! He's got a person driving in the back as well. I've never seen that. Wow. That's so crazy. We got a cool Pantera right here. We got a GTC, an AMG GTC with. A, yeah, I was gonna point that out. I love red tops on convertibles. 812 NSX, and we got a blue carbon fiber wire in the back, peeking out. I don't know if you guys can see it. We got a Mercy Lago SV and it is a manual. What is that? LP 610, is it? Or 640? 640, yeah. And then a SVJ. And dude, that's just a really nice, really nice stuff in here. So we're just standing right here because it is by appointment only, but we are able to just quickly peek in. But onto the next dealership, you guys. We're just casually walking and there's a whole Aston lineup, so clearly we are walking by the Aston. Right there. Ooh, the DBS Super Leggero. Wow. Okay, we're not stopping in there though. We're not trying to get a ticket on our car, but you but know. I think there was a DB5 in here. That would be worth going in for. Yeah. But we are in a rush, you guys. But you have seen D uh, DB5 before. I saw man. one at Concord Michigan. Delegance. Yeah, yeah, in Michigan. Wait, this is a new place that just opened up and it is by appointment only and we are in a rush to get back to the car. So we're just gonna peek through the window. They got a Special right is here. Is that the TDF F12? This is a TDF F12. Look at the big ass bow on it. That is really We have a 599 cool. right there. A lot of cool stuff in there but obviously the cool stuff is up front and we're looking at it right now yeah. okay christina out of these two which one are you taking that's so hard on, i, I think the one. tdf f12 Ooh. I think so too. Special I, yeah. is my dream car. Yeah, but know. this is a v, V12, that's yeah. a V8. Like you yeah. got, you can't deny a Ferrari V12. A Ghibli. But back to our car before we get a ticket, and then and we're then, gonna do some more fun stuff. Cause yeah, why I not? I forgot my coffee in the car, so I might have to go buy even more oh now. Oh gosh. Oh no. <laughs> so that's the 992 Porsche. Just came out. Thought it was cool to vlog. Okay. Welcome to Los Angeles, where you see supercars everywhere you go. That is the first time I've ever seen a McLaren GT on the road. Pretty cool stuff. It's different when you see a supercar on the road versus in right. a dealership. It's no, like, I agree. It's like seeing an animal in a zoo versus in the nature, you know? But did you know that came from the same dealership we saw it in? Oh yeah, I'm not surprised yeah. at all. It was where the 720 and the GT were parked and it was missing a car in the middle. Oh, it was that one? It was one? that one, oh, yeah. I see. All right guys, so we just made it back to our Fiat, our little Italian bebe. And my coffee is so watery right now, so I'm gonna get more because I have to cool down. Um, or a smoothie would be nice. But anyways, what we're on to next, we're gonna grab some food. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are on a mountain right we are now. Climbing. We are climbing steep, fast, and heavy. Yeah, we're trying to get to the a very nice view of the Hollywood sign so we can get some cool pictures with this um, 124 spider. Oh, view, though. I, I know. see the ocean. Holy cow. Yes, so guys, we made it to the top. Christina's about to make her TikTok, but this view is astonishing. We are just living in LA vibes right now. I haven't been here forever. Let's check it out. So we got the Hollywood sign over there. Then out in the distance, we have the ocean. This is just so stunning. And yeah, Christina's about to rock her TikTok. So let's do it. So the sun's gonna set, I think. Yeah, that's going down. It's gonna set eventually. And the Hollywood sign is right over there. And the ocean, the city, the mountains, you got like everything in one right here in this very spot. And the Griffith Observatory, the inside's actually closed down because of COVID, but it's a really sweet place to go and learn a bunch of physics and stuff and peep this Miata right and over astronomy. here. And astronomy. And astronomy, of course. I mean, physics, but yeah. <laughs> what is going on here? We got the whole news station here. Is an asteroid about to hit Earth or something? I'm about to check. <laughs> so we have made our way around back. So we have all of Los Angeles out there in the distance. 
and it just keeps going into the ocean. So enough of that. Let's go do some other stuff for real. What are we about to do? Ooh, do you want to try and make our way up there? Yes. I've never been Somehow. up there. Somehow, like somewhere. Neighborhoods right We're going to have to take the Fiat into some really steep cliffs and stuff. All right, so back to the Fiat then. To back take to the it off-roading into the mountains. Yep. <laughs> Let's see if it can even do it. I hope so. I think it can. So guys, we made it back to the Kia, to the Kia, to the <laughs> Fiat, and we are in a time crunch. The sun's about to set. We're gonna try and make it up there before it does so. We are doing hill climbs in the Fiat. Oh my gosh. You're gonna turn left right here. So much stress on the clutch. As you can see, we are trying to get to the Hollywood right here? sign. Um, I don't know what this says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so confusing, you guys. We are, oh Big my trap. gosh. Woo. Oh my god, the Hollywood sign is right there. Do you guys see it? It's right behind this big ass truck. Yes. Holy! Oh shit, it's right there. <laughs> this is crazy. And this is the closest I've ever been. Me too. This is beautiful. And we have to go houses. through such windy roads, you guys. Look, look. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I would have never imagined this is where it is. And this is where you have to go to get there. Right. You guys, this is... Oh my gosh, guys, wait, just look at these roads. This is like we're not even in America anymore. I know. This feels like we're on a Top Gear, um, like, challenge special or something. Oh look at this. my look at this. gosh. Now, now imagine if this was in Michigan and there was, like, ice on the road and stuff. We would never. But we're going to make it right before the sunset, so this is yeah. awesome. All right, guys, here's the sunset, and we are... Where's the Hollywood sign? Right over there. Wow. We made it. Look at everyone taking. Oh my god, they're making a music video. Oh my god. Guys, we are parked on like the biggest I don't hill know. right now. How he's gonna get out of this? Because I'm a skilled driver. No, I'm just kidding. It has hill assist. But <laughs> there is the Hollywood sign up there. Oh, stick it into gear. Always. If you're on a hill. Guys, we made it just in time and we got to see the sunset. There it is, you guys. This is my first time being this close to it, you yeah, guys. Yeah, I've never been this close. And. The park is right there. That's so cool. Like it's such it's a like cute a dog park. park. It's a dog park, yeah. Yeah, it's so cute. It's really cute. But wow. Guys. So there is the sign. Not much car stuff right now, but we just did a photo shoot with the Fiat and the Not Hollywood sign. Not too shabby. Sign. Not too shabby at all. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see if we're gonna rerun the car behind us. We're back in with the steep ass hill. Yeah, just let me know if I'm gonna that car. All right. Oof. Okay. We'll make sure the vlog isn't just staring at the dashboard. Oh, you scared the fuck out of me. This car sounds like a truck to me, dude. Not at all. He did it. Bye bye, Hollywood sun. It's right behind us in case you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole music video going on. We're just driving right through the middle of it. That's what's up. <laughs> Good. No one sure as well. He never listens to this type of music. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't listen to that. Guys. First time ever it's snowing in LA, you guys. Look at it. It's literally snowing. Show this guy. Look at it. In LA, it is snowing. No, just kidding. It's fake snow, but we are at the Grove. And we have a pound in back of us. And some fake snow. Pretty crazy. What the heck? And then a big Christmas tree right over there. This is so magical. So we'd like to thank you guys for watching our and video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and we'll catch you at the next video. Peace. Bye.